Since 2014, Dutch rugby has seen a dramatic rise in participation. With a pathway in place for youngsters coming through, they've started to see some consistent results in the lower tiers. Yeah, the Dutch Rugby Union is made up of approximately 88 clubs at this moment, uh, spread throughout the country. There's a bit more of a concentration around the big cities, around Amsterdam, uh, The Hague, Rotterdam and Utrecht. We have approximately 15, 15 and a half thousand players at the moment. Uh, the gap isn't so big as maybe in the traditional rugby nations, so we have to make sure that we cater for, uh, for our grassroots players, the more social uh, rugby players but also the guys that have really got uh, ambition and want to take rugby uh, for themselves to the next level. That's something that we, we have a challenge with and also retention within the game and make sure that uh, the guys that pick up the game and start playing and that they don't, at the age of 18, 19, uh, when they have to make a choice about uh, school, university, uh, going to senior rugby, that they don't drop out. We have six academies here in the Netherlands. Um, above that, we have our national training centre. The guys are, uh, are out there training at the moment. That's then the, uh, the sort of more feeder level towards the selections of the under 18, under 20 uh, and the national team. What we have is a, a senior sort of NTC, which we call a national training centre, which then our best players uh, filter into that. And currently we have 50 players who uh, are uh, in the national training centre preparing for all the various different tournaments, both female and male. Um, at uh, under 16, under 17, under 18 and senior level. And another area where we're focusing on this year, putting a bit of a boost behind women's rugby, making, uh, making it more aware for the girls out there that rugby is also an option for them as team sport. We have a women's sevens program, but also with the 15s, we're trying to get the girls to come through the academies the same way as the boys and align the, uh, the, the pathways. We've received the start-up program from our NOCNSF, which is the local Olympic uh, committee, which basically gives us the opportunity to work with um, girls uh, of under 18 uh, for a lot longer period, prepare them, uh, put them through a really uh, good program which focuses on the individual and preparing them uh, for the international sort of level that's required. Also, around women's rugby, what we ideally want to start doing is getting an under-18 girls competition going in, in the Netherlands, which for us, if we can achieve that, I think we'll see a lot of the girls, uh, a lot more girls playing rugby, but also a lot more girls staying in the game. Before I came to, to Holland, um, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah, coming from New Zealand, the standards obviously really high. Playing for the last two seasons, um, yeah, it's actually levels a lot higher than what I originally probably thought. And you go awesome group of boys uh, all playing um, their, heart, their hearts out. And yeah, obviously not very popular here, um, but it is growing, which is really cool. Um, even since I've been here last two seasons, it's really picked up in, in, in interest and in, in players as well. So there's a lot more people playing rugby. I think uh, in a few years we can really do some do some damage to some some higher nations. I think well, there was a few years where we were sort of going up and down uh, leagues, and last year we came second. Portugal came first, and this year we came second again to Portugal. Yeah, a good campaign, winning four out of five games, um, and so it's it's really physical, it's fast. Again, next next season, hoping we can go one step further and, and go take uh, make that second into into first and take take home the trophy. Another reason that the pathway started to bear fruit is that the men's team now has consistently finished second in the Rugby Europe Trophy. But obviously for us, it's it's, a, it's two years of, of consistent results, so we're starting to see a lot more consistency in our performances.